Project Elixir is back with another new update and it's version 4.2 based on Android 14 and having the latest update which means April security patch, March security patch was actually skipped which was kind of expected and a lot of custom rooms actually skipped that and it's based on the latest QPR2. So of course some features which you were expecting are of course missing but still it's good enough because it's quite stable you can use it on a device in case you want to. Some things might be device specific but most of the things are same here firstly if you take a look at that security options you will see that it brings you fingerprint unlock support it brings you face unlock support which was kind of expected kind of not expected to both of the things are there but one thing which was actually expected is app locker and unfortunately that's not present if you move into the more security settings you will not get the app locker pre-installed which is a bit disappointing but maybe that will be included in the upcoming update but for now it's not there second thing which is one of the main highlights of this one is uh, we have a different launcher which is launcher which was previously launcher 3 in most of the custom rooms and of course uh, project elixir was one of those custom rooms which was bringing you pixel launcher pre-installed but now we have launcher as launcher officially now rolled out to android 14 you can see we have lock and unlock option available in the recent panel in the latest launcher 14 and that's available in these three dots and you will see experimental features i've shared that already on my hindi channel but that was non-rooted version so the recent panel was not going to work but this is pre-installed here also we have a lot of modules available already so launcher 14 is officially rolled out it's already included in this case as far as i know because launcher is pre-installed i'm not exactly sure if you if you want to install any other modules launcher modules if that will work or not not exactly sure but launcher is pre-installed if you are satisfied with the default launcher go for it some things might be different in your case for example if your device does not have launcher pre-installed that's completely okay because that's device specific but still you might get launcher pre-installed second one or basically another thing is the google photos unlimited backup one thing let me tell you one here as as you can see this pixel can back up unlimited photos and videos at no charge which means it's available by default once again because this is not available as an option in some custom rooms like evolution xos or maybe in some other custom rooms you have the option to enable or disable that but in this case as you can see we do not have the option to enable or disable that although we have the option for higher fps in games that netflix spoofing option is not there uh, we do not have the snapchat spoofing unfortunately some of the features are missing but we have the game space we have have the higher fps games higher fps in games options google photos heads up option is there uh, we have the option for in call vibration which is good the cloned apps feature is there it's not a parallel space but cloned apps is available here it is is already available in the apps section in settings app but cloned apps is kind of okay okay thing in android 14 based custom rooms it's available in most of the custom rooms already and if you need more apps to be cloned you can simply install pixel expert magic module and you are good to go if you take a look at the customizations here you will see the ui is bit changed in the essence or basically the things where we have all the customizations available we have all the things available and as you can see you are not a pro user so right now i'm not a pro user so in case you are miss you are looking forward to the lock screen clocks ios style lock screen etc etc that's not available by default especially for the free user if you want to know more about the things the previous one the previous update which i shown you some days ago that was a pro version so in that thing you can check out the customizations which are available exclusively for the pro members or the pro patreon users in case you are we have the option for quick settings we have the option for status bar almost similar kind of things available here and there which are kind of okay okay and if you want to know more about the differences for example uh, this is uh, this is project elixir and you want to compare it with any other custom room let me know in the comment box and although i think so i'll make a comparison video very soon of this custom room with any other which seems similar here and we will look into all the customizations etc so this was all these were things i just wanted to let you know hope you like this if you like this video don't forget to drop a like if you're new here don't forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching Thank you.